Throughout history, our planet has been home to a multitude of human species, some of which have long vanished into the annals of time. These enigmatic beings have left behind tantalizing clues about our shared evolutionary past. In this brief exploration, we'll uncover five mysterious human species that once lived among us, shedding light on the complex tapestry of our ancient ancestors. So, let's get started. Dragon Man, Ho'olongji. In 1933, during the construction of the Dongjiang Bridge in northern China, a local worker found a remarkably well-preserved human skull in the riverbank sediment. At that time, the city of Harbin, where the skull was found, was under Japanese occupation as part of Manchukuo. The worker likely understood the skull's importance, given the excitement surrounding the discovery of another ancient human skull, called the Peking Man a few years earlier. To protect the find, the laborer hid the skull in an abandoned well, where it remained undisturbed for nearly 90 years. Even after the Soviet invasion of Manchuria, he kept his secret to avoid scrutiny related to his work during Japanese rule. It was only in 2018, during the laborer's final moments, that he shared the secret with his grandchildren. A family member retrieved the skull from the well, and later that year, a Chinese paleoanthropologist convinced the family to donate it to Harbin Geo University for scientific study. Subsequent analysis determined that the skull was approximately 146,000 years old, dating back to the Middle Pleistocene period. It had a unique combination of primitive and modern features, resembling Homo sapiens in facial structure. Experts believe the skull belonged to a robust male, around 50 years old at the time of his death. The broad nose suggested an adaptation to a high-energy lifestyle and the ability to inhale large amounts of air. Measuring 23 centimeters in length and over 15 centimeters in width, the skull's size indicated an ability to endure harsh cold conditions. Ghost Ancestor Approximately 50,000 years ago, in what is now West Africa, ancient humans are believed to have interbred with an unknown group of archaic humans. While no fossils or bones of this mysterious group have been found due to challenging preservation conditions, scientists have identified subtle hints in the DNA of present-day West Africans. Researchers conducted an extensive genetic study involving hundreds of individuals from Nigeria and Sierra Leone. They discovered remarkable traces of what they've named ghost DNA from an enigmatic ancestor that is not connected to Neanderthals or Denisovans. This genetic mixing is thought to have occurred around 50,000 years ago, coinciding with the period when Neanderthals were also interbreeding with modern humans in different parts of the world. A team of population geneticists at the University of Utah examined various scenarios to understand how genes might have been distributed before and after this ancient interbreeding. Their findings suggest that both Neanderthals and Denisovans may have also shared genes with this super archaic population, which diverged from modern humans nearly 2 million years ago. Interestingly, this genetic mingling is believed to have taken place outside of Africa, indicating that this mysterious ghost ancestor was among the earliest hominids to leave Africa. This unknown group seems to have branched off from the ancestors of modern humans even before the Neanderthals did. Red Deer Cave People In 1989, limestone miners in Madong Cave, southeast China, stumbled upon a fascinating discovery, a cache of ancient fossils hidden deep within the cave. However, these remnants of history remained untouched until 2008, when researchers retrieved partial skulls and bone fragments from the Long and Longling Caves nearby. Carbon dating of charcoal found near the Lin fossils revealed an age range between 14,000 300 and 11,500 years old. Interestingly, evidence suggested that the cave's Stone Age inhabitants had cooked large deer, giving them the nickname Red Deer Cave People. Their skeletal remains displayed a mix of primitive and modern features, including jutting jaws, broad noses, prominent brows, large molar teeth, flat faces, and thick skulls. Their brain size was typical for the Ice Age. While some scientists speculate these skulls might belong to a hybrid population of Arctic and modern humans, a research team from the University of New South Wales suggests they represent a distinct evolutionary lineage. The coexistence of these people alongside contemporaneous modern-looking Homo sapiens in nearby regions supports this theory. Genetic comparisons of the skulls to present-day populations revealed strong connections to Native Americans and modern East Asians. Intriguingly, the closest genetic match was with a 13,000, 
900-year-old specimen from Siberia. Challenging the idea that the first humans to cross the Pacific were long-term Siberian residents. Instead, it's now believed this population may have settled in southern China for an extended period before migrating north, possibly via a coastal route through Japan. The discovery of the Red Deer Cave people sheds light on an unknown chapter of human diversity in East Asia, showing that modern humans coexisted with at least one pre-modern species in mainland East Asia for tens of thousands of years. Denisovans In 2008, Russian Academy of Sciences researchers, along with archaeologists from Russia, explored a cave in the Altai Mountains of Siberia. In this cave, they discovered the finger bone of a young female hominid. By 2010, scientists extracted mitochondrial DNA from this bone, dating it to be between 76,000 200 and 51,600 years old. Our knowledge of the Denisovans is limited, primarily based on a few physical remains, including the finger bone, some teeth, and a piece of the skull. Most of our insights about them come from DNA analysis, which suggests that Denisovans had dark skin, eyes and hair, as well as a physical appearance resembling Neanderthals. Additional Denisovan specimens were found in the Bashia CST cave on the Tibetan Plateau and the Koper cave in the Altai Mountains. It is believed that they inhabited Asia for tens of thousands of years, coexisting with early modern humans. While we have identified Denisovan remains in these three locations, the presence of Denisovan DNA in present-day human populations suggests that they once inhabited East Asia and possibly Western Eurasia. A recent study, which analyzed a large DNA sample from present-day Southeast Asians, suggests that there may have been three distinct Denisovan subgroups. Interestingly, one of these groups might have survived longer than the Neanderthals, who disappeared around 40,000 years ago. It is widely accepted that Denisovans interbred with early modern humans, and the highest percentages of Denisovan DNA in today's populations can be found in Melanesians, Aboriginal Australians, and Filipinos. Hobbits, Homo eusinensis, and Homo floresiensis. In 2019, researchers discovered fossils in the Philippine jungle on the island of Luzon, dating back about 50,000 years. These fossils belong to an ancient human species known as Homo luneus, which is distinct from other human species. They were found in the Kaleo Caves limestone chambers. The presence of tools and butchery marks on animal bones suggests that these early humans were skilled hunters and toolmakers. Homo luenes had a unique combination of characteristics. Some of their teeth resembled early Homo species, while other aspects were more similar to Homo erectus. They were small in stature, standing around 3 to 4 feet tall, with long, broad feet and features like curved finger and toe bones, indicating an adaptation to a tree-climbing lifestyle. This small body size may have evolved as a response to the challenges of their island environment, a phenomenon known as island dwarfism. Interestingly, Homer Luinus shares some similarities with another diminutive human species, known as Homo floresiensis, or the hobbit, found on the Indonesian island of Flores. Despite having a brain size much smaller than modern humans, Homo floresiensis exhibited complex features in their skeleton. Today, we delved into a fascinating array of enigmatic hominins and ancient human relatives. First, we explored the Dragon Man, a remarkable discovery from China, representing a new species known as Homo longi, which challenges our understanding of human evolution. Moving on to the ghost ancestor, we discuss the mysterious genetic signals found in modern human DNA that suggest interbreeding with an unidentified archaic hominin species. The Red Gear Cave people, an enigmatic group from southern China, raised questions about their place in the human family tree. We also touched upon the Denisovans, a distant cousin of Neanderthals, whose genetic legacy can be found in modern humans across Asia and Oceania. Lastly, we revisited the hobbits of Flores, Homo floresiensis, whose tiny stature and unique traits continue to intrigue researchers and expand our knowledge of the diverse human evolutionary tapestry. If you enjoyed this exploration of the mysterious human species of our past, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating insights into history and science. Give us a thumbs up if you found this video intriguing, and please share it with fellow history enthusiasts. Your support helps us uncover the mysteries of our world's rich history. Until next time, keep that curiosity burning bright. Thanks for watching.